All right, in this video, we're going to be calculating filtration rates. So whether we're talking about wastewater treatment, water treatment, doesn't matter. Filters are going to be working largely the same. So we've got to first remember what the formula is for filtration rate. This is going to be on both the water and wastewater formula sheets uh, for the state of California. Filtration rate is essentially the flow of water going through the size of the filter. So we need some flow rate of water moving through some size filter, and we're looking at the area. In other words, the cross-sectional area of the filter. And the units that we typically express this in is going to be in GPM, or gallons per minute, per square foot of filter area. In this example problem, we're going to be looking at a wastewater treatment located close to Palomar College, a metal arc reclamation facility. So at this facility, they have six identical size filters that they use. These are carbon-based filters. They've uh, each got the dimension of 14 feet by 14 feet. And the average flow that we are treating right now, we're going to say 4.2 MGD. Remember what MGD stands for? Million gallons per day. Now, right now, though, of the six filters, we have filters two and we have filters five offline. Whether it's for repairs, routine maintenance, changing filter media, maybe we just don't need it to treat the size flow that we've got coming in on average right now this time of the year. Either way, though, we've got four of these filters that are treating this total flow rate of 4.2 million gallons per day. We want to calculate what is the filtration rate across the board here, at least on average amongst the four filters. So what do we need? We need to know the flow of water coming through, and we need to know the size of the filters. So there's really two different ways to kind of do this problem right off the bat. I'm going to do it the most common way first, and then I'll kind of mention the less common way after that. But what most students are going to want to do is go, okay, first let's figure out the flow rate, and we need the flow rate Q. Well, we're given it right here, 4.2 MGD. Can I plug that right into here, though? No, because I need the units as GPM, not MGD. So we got to do a quick unit conversion. So in this case, we're going to do 4,200,000 gallons per day, right? That's what this essentially is saying, is 4.2 MGD, right? Well, let's write it out as gallons, 4,200,000 gallons per day. I need it in gallon per minute. So instead of days as my unit down here, I need to figure out what is this in terms of minutes, right? So how do we convert from day to minute? If you look at your formula sheet, you'll remember there's 14, 40 minutes in a day. So what are we going to do? We're going to take this. We're actually going to divide the 4.2 million gallons per day by the 1,440 minutes per day. This is going to allow me to cancel out my days. So I'm going to take this 4.2 million number, 4,200,000, divided by 1440. And that's going to get me to a flow rate of 2,916.66666 on and on and on gallons per minute. All right, now I'm just going to leave this number in my calculator for the sake of ease. But this now becomes my flow rate. And this is what I need in GPM. Right? Then what I need to do is I need to take this flow rate. I need to divide by the area. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We got to think about what area of filter media is treating this flow rate, right? Well, this is the total flow rate. So imagine when we're coming into our tertiary treatment here, this flow rate coming in, let's just say coming in from the, the left side here, is being divided into these four filters. So we need to account for not only the area of one filter, but we need to account for the area of the four filters treating this total flow. So what we're gonna do is a separate calculation down here where we look at the area. Remember, we're looking at a, a cross-sectional area. So essentially, this is a top-down view of these filters, or however you want to think about it. But if we think about it as a top-down view, we're looking at this area right here, right? the area across my filter bed. So how do we calculate that? Well, it's just length times width. So in this problem here, it's going to be 14 feet times 14 feet. We also want to make sure we account for the fact that there are four filters treating this flow rate. So we're also going to multiply that by four. So what do I get? 14 times 14 times four filters. I get an area of 784 square feet. I remember square feet, feet times feet. Square feet makes sense because we're looking for an area. So now that I've got my area, I've got my flow. Now I'm going to plug it into my filtration rate formula. If I rewrite it over here, 
2,916, I'm just going to round right there at 0.67. This is going to be in gallons per minute. I'm going to divide that by my area right here, 784 square feet, right? The total area that's treating this total amount of flow. So let's see what we get here. 2,916.67 divided by the 784. And I get a filtration rate equal to 3.7 gallons per minute per square foot of area. The other way to think about doing this, pro this, this problem is instead of saying, okay, the total flow here is being treated by four filters, we could just say, well, a quarter of the flow is being treated by one filter. So what we could have done in the beginning right here is said 4.2 MGD, we could have divided this by four, we could have divided this flow by four. Either way, we're, we're counting for a factor of four. So if we divide this by four, right, and we're going to get just over one MGD, that one MGD is what's being treated by one filter. So if we look at the what that what those numbers would look like real quickly, 4.2 divided by four gives me 1.05. That's Remember, that's in million gallons per day. So I'm going to do that million gallons per day divided by this 1440 number, the same way we did before. And what we get to is a flow rate of 729.17. So 729.17 is going to be my gallons per minute. And I'm dividing that by the area of just one filter, right? Because I said, what's a quarter of that flow? Or in other words, a quarter of this flow divided by the one filter. So 14 times 14 is going to give me 196. So 196 square feet, right? That's the area of one filter. When I divide these out, I should get the same exact number. So let's figure that out. 196. And I get to 3.7. And that's again in gallon per minute per square foot. So just make sure in this problem, you've got to get your units of flow in GPM, whatever you're starting with. You could have started with CFS, GPM, anything like that, MGD. Make sure we get it to GPM if it's not already in there. In this particular problem, we're looking at four filters, so make sure we account for those four filters somewhere. Remember that it's these four filters treating the total flow that we're given here. Once we get our flow in the correct units, we got to figure out the area that applies to that flow. Then all we're going to do is divide the two to get to our filtration rate, in this case, 3.7 GPM.